not only in your physical appearance and character, but also with respect to your learning methods. So first things you have to know or you should know is your what is your preferred learning style. Memorizing the anatomical terms and understanding them is always remain as a hard task in the course of the anatomy. Making the visual image of the anatomical structures in their anatomical positions is like putting a step in the summit of the mountains. Due to lack of these skills, you feel stressed, hopeless during the exam period, which further deteriorate your efficiency and resulting in the poor result. So, it's time to think in a better way, in a more efficient way, like a businessman who wish to make the more profit by investing less just by using the best business policy. Similarly, you can apply your best learning methods or learning policy to achieve more. So, the first steps you have to do is like the businessman, you have to invest. But your investment is in different form. Your investment, the first investment is your interest in the subject matter of the anatomy. And the second one is the time. The, the interest in the subject matter of the anatomy is a thing which comes gradually when you engage yourself in the subject matters, try to understand their importance and you start to see the beauty of the subjects. So that, that's, that's the reason the interest comes gradually. But the second investment is the time which is totally in your hand. So again you have to seek a way so that you invest less time in more efficient way and gain more. So for this you have to manage some of your time before the class and some of the time after the class. The time you have to manage before the class is hardly 20 minutes and it is very important to understand the topics. This 20 minutes is not for reading all the texts and tables given in the books. Choose the books like the, like the students' versions of the Grey's Anatomy, which I prefer, which has more number of images than the text. So try to understand that when you, when you correlate the diagrams and you correlate the class with those, those concepts, you can easily understand the, the class which teachers are going to teach you. So the investment, that investment of 20 minutes by you before the class, around 45 minutes by your teachers in the class will determine how much time you will need further to understand the topics. So this is the main thing that is the investment. Second, the, since the anatomy is the, taken as the, one of the most volatile subjects that is forgotten very frequently those things. So, if even if you understand everything in the class and you are damn confident that you are not going to forget this concept that you learned from the class, remember one hard fact that our brain, our brain is habituated to store only those things which are repeated frequently. So the second tip and important tip is the repetitions. It is not that every topic of the anatomy requires the frequent repetitions. Make the habit of writing some points by side of the page when you study or you can make some sticky tape points okay, and by the side of the page you study so that those points will, will be given more importance when you revise the topics. So that's why revisions and repetitions is important and make the habit of writing some anatomical terminology and drawing the anatomical images when you study the any topics. Remember that our brain will store those things more easily and for longer durations when you read and write simultaneously than when you read the text alone. So on whiteboards with these markers in your hostel rooms, it seems a wonderful idea to repeat or to study the anatomy course. So try to apply this. So <coughs> as you know, we teachers, we, what you call as teachers, we are no more conventional teachers who teach everything you needed in the classrooms. Rather, nowadays, we act as a facilitators. The duty of which is, first of all, first duty is to give the outlook of the topics which are allotted to him. And the second duty is to clear your doubt if you have any. So that's, that's the duty of the teachers. So from this point, what I am trying to say is that Nobody can teach you everything that you needed in the classrooms. So you have to look after other resources. 
you can look after the videos tutorials available in the YouTube's learning from the various resources has main advantage is that you can learn one single anatomical fact in more prospective way and you will find many ways to remember that fact due to the due to your various learning resources <coughs> before we teach you in the classroom we prepare the class as if we are the students so every one of us every one of us means every teachers become the students before they stand in front of you in the class so the role of the teacher is only accomplished if you play the role of the students so what i am trying to tell is that learning is followed by the teaching so this principle is also flawed for you but in the reverse way as i am talking about the way in which a student teaches his colleague in a very informal way and that method is called as the peer teaching or teach your friend this is one of my favorite methods and it is very amazing method in which you can you can learn from your friends you can teach your friends in very informal way and maybe you will get your feedback immediately and it doesn't even require the classrooms you can even learn during your tea times in front of mess so apply this be a teacher to your colleague during our uc days we used to make our groups for the study purpose our group usually consisted of 3 to 4 students we used to stay in the same room mostly in my room and we used to stay we used to study in our own way all of the all of the members of the study group you study in their own way if someone raises the questions so they answer according to their understanding and one of them at the same time one of them see the consult the that relevant textbooks and validate the answer and that answer is taken as granted the main advantage in my perspective with the making the study group is that you will get continuous motivation during your study period when you give the answers of one good questions very important questions your friend may clap for you or or may praise you for this wonderful answers but it is not without any additional advantage sometimes what happens that one of your answer gives the wonderful and wonderful answers which you are totally unaware so this scenario may may feel you stress and may even might change your mind that you may left the group and start to study alone but i just suggest to you that do not ever do that mistakes up to some level stress is useful thing try to use the stress for your improvement that is the that is the things you should apply so try to use the study group make your study own your study groups in the hostels okay again at the last but the north list again i want to repeat that the important thing is try to identify your learning style whether you feel easy learning by hearing the lectures by reading the textbook by seeing the videos or by doing yourself in our anatomy course we have different practical sessions these practical sessions are the foundation to understand the theoretical knowledge you gain from the class so try to use them optimally try to ask your doubts to teachers that is the way and don't make your brain feel like a boring to the anatomy learning remember brain never adjusted by the learning whatever things i tell you knowing all these things is not enough you have to apply this and your willingness to apply these all things is still not enough you must do so good luck all of you thank you